think it's recording audio. Yeah, that's right. So I need you to talk to you. Thanks for listening, joining us. We are going to talk about three things on today's vlog. This is like more of an announcement -y type of vlog and not a regular follower life type of vlog. The first thing is holiday hangover. It's, what day is it? Sunday? Yeah. Friday was Christmas. Yesterday was a really hard day for me, and I don't know what else to call it besides holiday hangover. I didn't realize it until this morning when I woke up and things were okay. Yesterday I felt like depressed. Um, unmotivated. Super unmotivated. <laughs> and it's not just that things were bad or hard for the holidays, although <clears throat> I did experience some disappointment. Um, in fact, one of the things I shared was that I was disappointed in not getting a present from you. And we had kind of like agreed a little bit, like not to get each other presents, but I was still bummed out about it. Um, that was just one of the things though. I realized for myself that any time I have like really high emotions, either, I don't know, good or bad, positive emotions or negative emotions, whatever you choose to call them, that they're hard for me to deal with. I don't deal with emotion very well. Maybe it's because I'm half Asian. Um, maybe it's life, childhood, addiction. I, I could be a lot of things. But holidays are like a super emotional day for me. I don't, I don't even like know. Is that why you chose to ask me to marry you on Christmas Day? <laughs> it's all making sense. Though. I don't know. I was like in some sort of weird zone yesterday. I was like checking Facebook constantly. I was checking YouTube for no reason all the time. I didn't want to get up. It's hard for me to move. That's how I felt yesterday. I wonder if it's like you get a high off of Christmas and then the next day it's like not Christmas and so you're like searching for that high somehow. I mean, because I, I experienced that too. Maybe if I just eat one more cookie or one more uh, like on Facebook. I'm wondering if any of you guys dealt with holiday hangover this year. Um, I don't know if you have any suggestions on how to deal with that. I didn't deal with it very successfully this year. And, which is actually, we didn't get in a fight on Christmas. And that was a huge plus for us because usually we get in a fight did. on Christmas. We almost did. When? Well, just when you said that you're disappointed, I was disappointed that he was disappointed. Like, I couldn't handle very well his disappointment. I wasn't saying that she did anything wrong, by the way. That's, I, yeah. I know, uh, yeah. You were. It was just hard. Yeah, but that's like how I heard it. Like I wasn't able to separate that very well. But. You had a hard day yesterday too. Or is there anything you want to share with that? I feel like every day this season has been hard for me. But um, yeah, I mean, I, I feel like I experienced some of the similar things that Ben experienced yesterday. But I feel like I'm experiencing them today. He he came into our room. He came back from a meeting at like 7 a.m. Came back in our room and whispered to me. He was like, is, do you think you can get up with me? I'll make coffee. And I'm just feeling really productive. <laughs> and I'm like, well, I'm glad one of us is feeling productive. Because I sure don't feel real. But, okay, that brings us to a, a different topic, which is... We are taking a break from two weeks from this vlog. And this is a hard thing to do, you guys, because we started this vlog, what, two or three months ago, and we have released an episode every single time when we said we were going to. With a few exceptions. Sometimes we're trying to do it by 6 p.m. A few days we did it later, like at 11 p.m. I think a few got at midnight, but every episode got released. In fact, I think we released one extra episode in that time. And that was really hard for me because I'm self-employed and I, I don't get paid for this, so I could do whatever... I could not release the episodes and I have no boss. Or I could always make excuses and I have made excuses for a lot of creative projects like this, but but we've stuck with it. I'm actually kind of proud of myself. It's the thing that I'm the most excited about, not even the quality of the episodes, but just the fact that we've done it and we've hung in there. <clears throat> so I say that to say that we're not taking a two week break off just because we don't care, because we're worn out or tired, we're changing our mind about this vlog thing. But 
a series of things have happened in the last week or two where some men that really care about me and that I really trust are suggesting that I do kind of a retreat type thing to do some personal examination for myself and prioritize my own spiritual health. And I'm not going to get into a ton of details, not because I'm afraid to share it with you, but because I don't want to um, shortchange the process that I'm in the middle of right now and I don't want to distract from it. So I'm, I'm not going to go there now, but maybe in the future we'll talk about it or something. It's not like off limits or anything like that. So the next two weeks is going to be kind of retreat for three hours a day. I'm going to be, instead of working on projects like this or things with deadlines, I'm just going to be um, spending personal time, um, but very structured and fairly disciplined from 9 a.m. to noon and in my office with no internet. <clears throat> so because of that, we're not going to be vlogging. And we're sorry if you're going to miss that and thankful that you actually even have a place for that in your life. And we hope that you realize that this doesn't mean we're taking this project or this communication or you less seriously because we're not. Yeah. Anything else you want to say about that? Well, I want to say that I'm proud of you too. Hmm. For all those episodes that... I mean, I know I'm, I support him, but he's the one who got him out in time. Most of them out in time. Got them all out eventually. I think it's really cool. We did talk about whether or not Cammy should just still do it, but she is really going through a lot right now with her pregnancy, and um, there's just too much editing stuff that I do that I really want to devote myself fully to this other process. And I think it'll make for better, better vlogs, and um, we, just, we have to prioritize our spiritual health and our family health before our communication to the outside world. And if we do that, we think we have a better thing to offer all of you in the long run anyways. And it's what we would want you guys to do too, so we wouldn't want to do anything that we wouldn't want other people to do. So that's going to be for two weeks starting tomorrow, um, and, and then we'll be back. So thank you for your patience. The last thing I want to mention, I was just getting ready, we got all these books here. Okay, these are two books, and there's actually three books in this series. This is by an author named Stephen Pressfield. There's this one called The War of Art. This one, my friend Sonny recommended it to me. It changed my life. Then he came out with a sequel called Turning Pro. And then there's like a sequel to that called Do the Work. The subtitle is Break Through the Blocks and Win Your Inner Creative Battles. Anyways, great books. That's not the point of this. The point of this is th those are all gifts from us to the Fight for Together street team. And most of you guys have no idea what that is. But uh, in the YouTube description, at the bottom, it says special thanks to the Fight for Together street team. And these people are a group of people that have agreed to watch all of our episodes and provide feedback on how the episodes communicate, how they work, what's working, what's not working, what they find, uh, just, just feedback. And, and it's been really helpful for us. And, this whole vlog thing, it's a team. So we just wanted to publicly on this vlog say thank you to those people for being a part of this. Mm -hmm. And if you're watching this, you've been impacted by these people too. So these, these books, they're not expensive, they're really cheap. But it's our way of saying thank you because these, these books were really inspirational to us in getting this project and other projects off the ground and running. So you might want to check those books out. But regardless, if you've enjoyed this vlog, um, I just want you to know that there's other people behind it that we're really thankful for. Yeah. Anything else you want to say? Um, I just really want to thank you for, for watching our vlogs. Um, and we hope that you can tune in in two weeks and that we can give you an even better, uh, I don't want to say product, but better viewing experience than even before because we're taking care of we're prioritizing what we need to prioritize first in our life. So. I totally agree with that. And in a way, it's, it's really nice to not have to edit and um, 
film and carry a camera around, but I'm gonna miss it too. It's become part of our life. And I even noticed the day after Christmas, there's less like holiday funk when I, on vacation and stuff, when I'm not productive and I don't have a project, my brain, I feel like I go all crazy. And uh, I'm, I'm satisfied that I'm gonna have something to fill it with in this next two weeks, but I, I'm still gonna miss this process, the art and connecting with you all in this way. Mm -hmm. And if you have time, and if you're looking for something to do, we have all these older episodes. We have the Wonderland Trail videos. I'll link to all those down below. We have our 30-minute mini marathon documentary, which I highly recommend you watch if you want to get to know us and what we deal with. Not because it's the best way to run a marathon, or not because it's just this epic adventure, but because it really kind of shows our family in a way that I think will help you get to know us, if that's what you want. So anyways, thank you, what Cam said. Appreciate that. And we're looking forward to connecting with you guys again in two weeks. Um, a lot's gonna happen. You will be almost having a baby then. Yeah. I don't know if they can see, you can see that? Yeah, I see. think so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks guys. Thank you. Bye. This year, my mom got pregnant. This year, I play baseball. Nice hit! <laughs> Me and my dad went to Chicago. <laughs> we rode a train there. We missed the train coming home. So this trip just became the most inefficient trip ever.